Hi there, and in this Logic Pro 10.1 quick tip video, we're going to look at VCA faders, a new feature in the mixer of Logic. So go ahead and load up this mixer here and got his track playing. And we could go ahead and I've already set up bus sends, auxiliary sends and stuff and you can apply further effects on there. But what you can do with the VCA faders is just quickly group some sounds together, send them to a VCA fader and then you have some very simple mute, solo and volume level controls. And this is useful in the sense that if you wanted to say, I'm going to highlight these sounds here, say this closed hat, the kick or just a selection of sounds and bring them up in the mix. I can do that here, highlighting these channels. And then with all of these selected in the Logic Mixer, I can bring all four of these channels up together or bring them down. But say if they were a group that was specific to each other, I could actually send them to a VCA channel. And then if you wanted to tweak that a bit later, you still got that VCA channel to, to tweak and you haven't got to highlight all the individual channels. And something I noticed initially was that you don't see the VCA option by default here. You, in order to access the VCA channel fader, you need to send these to the channel. What you need to do if you can't see VCA along the left hand side here, go to view drop down here, go to channel strip components and make sure that VCA is checked. If it's checked, then we get this extra column here, VCA, and then with these four channels selected, click in here, we get this drop down menu, create new VCA for selected channel strips. We can see there it creates this VCA channel at the end and that's controlling those channels that I sent to that VCA. I could then go and send some more of these channels into the VCA channel. So very simple, uh, just a way of controlling a few different sounds. We can, we've got volume, we've got mute and solo. We don't, we can't put, apply any effects or anything on the VCA. It's just a very quick way for grouping some sounds together and just sending them to one channel strip and then we can control mute volume mute and solo and we can then have the option to take it out of the VCA if we wanted to start bringing this into the range page we can do that there are two options for doing that we can go to options and create track for selected channel strip and then if we go and look at our arrange, it's created this, put this VCA into our arrangement page and then we could start automating it or something. And actually a much quicker way of doing that is if you bring your mixer up, just by simply selecting the VCA channel, selecting an automation option like latch automation, and this will bring it into the arrange page also. So. VCA faders, very simple new addition to the mixer in Logic Pro, but very useful, helpful workflow tool at the same time. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. And thanks for watching. Cheers.